What up y'all, this is Tracy from Nerd Squish and today we're gonna be talking about The Bride of Frankenstein Lives and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at Halloween Horror Nights 30. Welcome back to another episode of Halloween Horror Nights Updates over here at Nerd Squish. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you can have all the Halloween Horror Nights updates and then other just spooky, nerdy things that we like to squish together. All right, y'all. It is July 15th when I am filming this and we got not one, but two house announcements today. So even though there's two house announcements, which is very exciting, I'm gonna warn you guys that in this video, one of them's gonna get a big old thumbs up and the other one's gonna get a big old thumbs down. So, I'm probably gonna make some people mad. The first house announcement is The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Now we all knew The Bride of Frankenstein Lives was gonna come back this year. It was at the event last year for HHN Light with plexiglass and other restrictions. So it'll be super, super cool to see it without all that. I say that as a person that never got to see it even with the plexiglass, but I am crazy excited because this concept sounds so cool. Now, you know I'm a big fan of the Universal Monsters and The Bride of Frankenstein, but let's talk about what this reimagining of the classic movie is actually all about. So if we read the description that's from the website, it says, we belong dead the last words of Frankenstein's monster when his bride rejected him. Now she'll stop at nothing to bring him back. Now if you click on the house, it has some further description. This time, the bride of Frankenstein is stepping out of the shadows and taking her fate into her own bloody hands. The mate will have her monster, and the monster, his mate. Enter the tower runes where Frankenstein's monster pulled the lever to bring down the walls and destroy him and his bride. Recoil in horror as she tries to bring him back at any cost, honing her diabolical genius one harvested body at a time. Don't get caught between her and the brides of Dracula, who she captures and drains in hopes of reanimating her love. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow, I am excited about this. Okay, so I am a huge fan of The Bride of Frankenstein. Love it, right? But it sucks that we always got to see her in like this little snippet of like three minutes and like she sees your boy and she's like, mm, you know what? No, this isn't for me. So we never get to see anything about her. And although it's a little strange that suddenly she decides, you know what? You, you know, he wasn't so bad. He wasn't so bad. Let's, let's bring him back. I love the idea of seeing the Bride of Frankenstein not just be a hissing, screaming creature, but a woman that's like trying to take control and get in there and get her monster and live her little happy monster life. I like it, I'm feeling it. I've watched, you know, the run through videos on YouTube of people that filmed from last year when they had like the restricted version of this house. And even that was beautiful. So I can only imagine how cool this house is going to be with no plexiglass, no restrictions, just monsters in your face being beautiful, doing cool stuff. All thumbs up for this one. The second house that was announced today is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you couldn't guess already, this is the one that gets a big thumbs down from Tracy. I am gonna preface this with the fact that I am not a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hold your pitchforks, people. I know, I know people love this movie and this property, but it's just not my bag, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm not excited about this one, let's dive a little deeper into this house that is based off the 1974 game-changing slasher film. Step into the dilapidated Texas home of the depraved, sadistic Sawyer family, who welcome you with razor-sharp blades and a roaring chainsaw. You've seen the 1974 horror classic, now it's your turn to experience it for yourself. Enter the dilapidated Sawyer house and meet Leatherface and his demented family of merciless butchers. Will you make it out in one piece or in pieces? Step right inside the story, experiencing every nightmarish moment for yourself. Explore every familiar room of the Sawyer home, from the parlor to the blood splattered kitchen. 
You'll face carving knives, meat cleavers, meat hooks, and of course that roaring, slicing, flesh ripping chainsaw. Let's dive into this. Why does Tracy hate this? Okay, number one, I mentioned, I'm not a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's my personal opinion. I know I've made some of you mad, my bad. On top of that though, I'm not excited for this one just because I don't see this as something that's gonna be like a mind blowing experience. Now, it'll be scary just because chainsaws are terrifying. There's a lot of scares that don't really get me anymore. But I guarantee you, no matter how they do it, if you rev a chainsaw, I'm gonna jump. Like, it's just, that's, that's, that's natural human behavior. I'm going to jump. However, I think the thing that I like about Halloween Horror Nights the most is when you can take, whether it's an IP or an original concept, when they have these elaborate, detailed sets where you can just go in there forever and look at all these details and never really take it all in. And they're just gorgeous and they're mind blowing and they can just get wild with it. You know, you can say that you can have details in these rooms with the meat hooks and the pieces of people and stuff like that. But I just don't see this as a house that's gonna be interesting to look at. It's gonna smell bad. It's gonna look like a dirty house and there's gonna be chainsaws. That's, that's it, that's it, it's just, Backwoods cannibals. I, I'm sorry, I'm not excited about it. Like I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not excited about it. Let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Have I offended you deeply? Are you excited about this house? Talk to me, maybe sell it to me, convince me that this will be a good house. Another thing that's not exciting is that this has been done at Halloween Horror Nights, even though I've never actually experienced the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at Halloween Horror Nights. It just kind of makes me feel like, you know, they were trying to come up with what to do this year and they were like in their executive boardroom and somebody was like, you know, we really need to save some money this year. What, what can we do to do that? Oh, oh, I got it. We'll do Texas Chainsaw Massacre again. Dirty house, put body parts everywhere, get a chainsaw, we're good to go. Either way, I am super, super, super excited to finally have some announcements. And I mean, two in one day, that is a good day. What do you guys think? Are you excited about both these houses, one of these houses? Let me know in the comments below. Which one are you more excited to see? If you guys wanna see more update videos on Halloween Horror Nights 30, definitely stick around. I will be doing an update video on every announcement they put out. And just with houses alone, we have six more, as well as scare zones, shows, all kinds of other things. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you nerds in the fall.